To get your Mark II jacked up properly, it's actually trickier than a Mark III or a Mark IV since they had pinch welds over here on the 80 style chassis, or 90s and 2000 style. The 80 style chassis don't have a pinch weld really. Um, I don't want to risk jacking this up and messing up the, the door, so I jacked up pretty much from here from the control arm or the subframe. And then you'll see this rail right here. You're going to use your jack, a little bit of uh, jack sand further back around here to jack it up. Um, I just got it high enough because we're taking the front end off uh, so we can remove the engine. Uh, just copy the same thing on the other side to get the car off the ground. Make sure you wood chuck your, wheel wheel, or your rear wheels. Uh, depending if your car has good brakes or not, uh, this car does not have good brakes so we made sure we had enough wood on both wheels. Alright, so new DIY, this is going to be MK2 axle removals. You're going to need a 30 mil uh, axle bolt, take off your wheels, make sure you put your lug nuts back in. Um, right now, during this part of the process, you're going to need uh, triple square bits for the axle, a boot in the back. We're going to have to figure out right now how to lock actually the uh, brakes. Uh, more than likely, I'm going to have, you can, might have to need a buddy here to... Um, to press on the brakes so the the car doesn't spin when you try to take brake loose the uh, axle bolts in the back so you're gonna need an M8 triple square bit bam right here and you're gonna need a couple extensions to get to the hole right there and with your buddy I have my wife here she is hey have her press on the brakes and while that's happening see if I can get you guys set up here. There you go. Get your ratchet. You stepping on the brakes, babe? Yeah. All right. Brake loose number one. Try to get a couple of them. As long as you can break them loose, you guys can come back to them later and then um, take them off by hand. Um, unless you're lucky like me and you have a bunch of stripped ones. Oh, check this out. You guys see that? My brake lines just started to leak on this car. So I don't got much brake pressure, so I gotta get this going. Oh, man. Can I let go of the brake, babe? So just repeating the process six times um, to break loose the uh, axle bolts. Once those are all loose, you can take them off by hand. The next thing you're going to need to do is have her step on the brake one more time hard so you can break loose the axle bolt here, uh, the axle nut, I'm sorry. Uh, you're going to need this because we don't need the axles off this car anymore since we're doing a 1.8 T-swap. We're going to do Mark IV axles, and then uh, we got to hunt to the junkyard for uh, Mark III hubs. Because uh, they're 100 millimeters, so they're shorter, so you can use Mark IV axles. But just so you guys can see that, remember the build process. Once you, once we actually get to build, putting the Mark II, Mark IV motor in here, we'll give you a full part list. So don't ask questions now. Just this is a DIY for removing the axles. All right. So now that we got all four, I mean all six uh, axle bolts loosened. The next thing is to break loose the um, the axle nut. Make sure the wife is pressing the brake hard. And oh man, close the door. There we go. And break her loose. Now, I had to research the torque specs on these cars, because since they're smaller cars, they don't use as much torque as like uh, Mark IVs or Mark Threes. So, I don't know the torque specs yet. I'll post them up, or look them up in a little bit. But break it loose, don't take it off yet, because we're going to need to bang this so the 
axle can come out. The next thing we're going to need to do is take off the tie rod, uh, more likely the lower ball joint. That way we can pull the uh, whole spindle assembly and pull it this way. Uh, that way it will give us the leverage we need to pull the actual whole axle out, or the space we need to pull the axle out. Alright, so the next part is the passenger axle. You're going to do it from underneath the car. Uh, make sure your wife can hear you. Wife, can you hear me? Yeah. Alright, so we need to break loose these. Uh, the other brake line is actually leaking too on this car. So we got two pretty leaky brake lines right now. So this thing won't be very uh, safe until we get all that taken care of later. Um, right now the hard part is trying to fit my triple square in here so I can actually break it loose. But there's not a lot of space down here for it. having a hard time but as you can see right here your triple squares and you don't have a lot of space to do it so to figure that out in just a moment so to remove the uh, axle bolts on this mark too we had to use a set of vice grips every single one was stripped on this side this is why you need to really pay attention to torque specs guys um, obviously the previous owner did not know about that. He just put them on and stripped the crap out of every single one. I got one using my triple square bit, uh, M8 to be exact. Um, I got, I left like one or two of them on there so I can break loose the axle nut. But that was pretty much it though. The next thing you guys need to do, you guys can see this. Let me get this out of the way. Uh, let me clean this up. Okay. There's a uh, 13 millimeter uh, bolt here for the ball joint. You're going to need to take that one off. And remember, we're going to need to take off the tie rod ends. Tie rods need to come off. Once those are two off, we were able to, we're going to be able to swing the actual spindle out and pull the axle out as well. Uh, that's all we're going to need to do. Okay, so once you take the three uh, 13 mil uh, bolts off the bottom by the ball joint you literally can pull this out the axle will just drop right out if it's been in here for a long time it's a little rusty soak it with some WD in here and smack it out with a hammer um, pretty much we got the axle out all that's gone uh, repeat the process on the other side and that's how you remove the axles reverse the process uh, for the axle bolts you want to do them about uh, what is it a uh, 24 pound foot pounds for the axle bolts uh, this right here is about a hundred foot pounds for the axle nut and you're done that's your torque specs for that the uh, ball joint is at 45 pounds so those are your torque specs for those um, and like I was saying just repeat the process when you get you're gonna replace it with a new axle uh, for the both sides and that's pretty much it and then get your car back up and running all right.